Yo, yo, what is up? So in this tutorial, I finally have a final solution to our preset colors. So just to show you real quick, uh, you can uh, select a color and um, it'll set your preset color. Uh, these these tints aren't accurate right now because I haven't set those in the test. But just to show you how it works, let me open the widget here. Uh, go to the graph. So the solution we're doing is, uh, I've made a function that we're going to add at the end of our on click for our preset colors. And basically the way this function works is that there's this little button here where you can go in and dynamically just change your preset color, uh, through here. And this fixes our issue with ha with making a ton of, uh, you know, material instances. And as you can see, I just changed that. Uh, we'll change this color to that. And as you see, when I change this color and go back in and test it real quick, it will accurately change to that color. And we'll just show you again real quick. I'll change it to this color. Uh, compile. Do another little test here. And set that color. And it changes to that color. Now, the color is a little off because I have that color dodge going on. Um, so if you don't have the color dodge, it'll be, you know, completely like this. If you didn't do the color dodge part. But, um, yeah. So, that's what we're going to do in this one. It'll be the final solution for our, our preset colors. And it'll be a much simpler solution. So, let's just hop into it. Alright, so, let's go ahead and hop into our content main menu widget. Or main menu level. Then we'll go into our blueprints, widgets, main menu widget. And the first thing I want to do here, uh, let's go into the graph. And the first thing I want to do is I want to change where we're setting our uh, skin. So we're going to move all of our set skins to the beginning of the unclicked. Just real quick, so just un, un, undo that. And we're just going to move these to the front right here for all of our unclicks. And just disconnect that one. And then move this one up. And then set that. And then move this one up. And then set that at the beginning. And then disconnect this one. And then set this one at the beginning. And plug that in. Then the next thing we're going to do... So we're going to be using our um, our color picker material instead of all of these preset colors. All of those material instances that we made. So what we're going to do for that... So for our first on-clicked skin, we're going to leave that one to our standard body base color. But for all the other ones, uh, we're going to use our color picker. So all of mine are already set right now because I... I I tried to make this tutorial a minute ago and accidentally forgot to press record, so I'm doing it again here. So just to show you what I did is go into your, we're going to open our third person blueprint character, uh, click on your body, hit search on that, and we're going to go back into the main menu. So for your Ismail true body color. Uh, we're going to set this to be our uh, our color picker color, wherever it is. This one right here, we're going to set that to be that. That is our color picker one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that is. So yeah, we're just going to set that. And then... Um, we'll just search on the head color and then we'll set this to be our color picker material. And then we'll search on the female one, hit search on that. And we're going to set this to be our color picker. And then we'll search on the head and we'll set this to be our color picker. I guess I didn't save because these are not set anymore. And now we just want to... Set all of these to all of our other... Oh no, I just did that to the first one, didn't I? That's why they're not set. Here, let me just undo that. Undo those. 
Yeah, don't do that to your first unclicked. You want those to actually stay your your body base color. And for some, uh, I won't undo the. It won't undo it. Okay. I just got to go back in and fix that. Then it's undoing the pins. So let me just plug that in. All right. So let me just search on this. And I'm going to set your first on clicked, your first button one should be your base, your body base color. So just make sure that's accurate. So search on that. Search on this one. Make sure this one is your, your base color. Then come down here, search on this one. Make sure it's your base color. Search on this one. Make sure it is your base color. And then for all of the other ones, we're going to set this to be our color picker material. So search on this. And we're going to set this one to be our color picker material. Just set that. And then search on this one. Set it to be your color picker material. Search on this one. Set it to be your color picker material. Search on this one. Set it to be your color picker material. Search on this one. Set it to be your color picker material. Search on this one, set it to be your color picker material. Search on this one, set it to be your color picker material. Search on this one and set it to be your color picker material. And then search on this one and set it to be your color picker material. And this one, set that one to be your color picker. This one, set this one to be your color picker. And this one, set this one to be your color picker. So, now that, that all that's set, all we have to do is make the function. So what I did for making the function, uh, we're going to go into our blueprints, components, custom character CP. And we're going to make a function in here. So go and make a new function. We're going to call this one set preset skin colors. And what we're going to do in here is we're going to um, set vector parameter value like we did for our color picker and in the collection we're going to choose our mp color picker parameter name we're going to choose skin color and then we're going to plug this in like that and then what we want to do here is we want to right click just type in rgb we want to grab this two rgb e, -E a linear color uh, we're going to plug this into the parameter name we're going to plug this into the input over here and if I pull this into the event graph, you will see now we have this button where we can just change the color. Kind of like what we did for our, sl our slider and value bars and the widget. We're kind of doing the same thing here. But the function is not done yet, so let's hop back in here. And uh, click on your input here, and we're going to uh, we're gonna add an output. And we're just going to add this return node to the end. And we're going to get rid of that bully in there. And what we want to do here is we want to add an output of what our values are that we're changing here. So we're going to pull off of here and break color. And we're going to add this BGRA into the return node. So just pull off the B, plug that in. Pull off the G, plug that in. Pull off the R, plug that in. Pull off the A, plug that in. Compile and save. And now we want to make a variable that represents each one of these. So go over here in your variables and we're going to uh, call this one skin B. And we're going to make this a byte because these are, um, these are byte variables. And <clears throat> we're going to make a new variable called skin G. We're going to make a new variable called skin R. We're going to make a new variable called skin A. And we'll just compile and save. And that's all we need in here. So now we just need to go and add this function to our main menu. So hop in here and at the end of all of our on clicks here. Uh, except for our first one. We don't need to do it on that one. But for all the other ones where we're actually changing the color. Uh, we're going to get player ref. And we're going to get our custom character CP.
and we're going to set preset skin colors and then you can plug this in to both of those right there and then off of here on the outputs we're going to pull off of our custom character cp and we're going to go ahead and set these variables so skin b uh set skin b we're going to plug that in and we're going to plug this b into that set and then right here we're going to set skin g uh let's grab a sequence here actually press s on your keyboard and click to grab a sequence and then we're going to plug this in here and then plug this one into the two and we'll add two more pins here and we'll hook our g into this right here and then we're going to set skin uh, R and plug that one in and set your R right there and then we're going to set skin A we're gonna plug that in like this so the reason we want to set these variables here is so that when we save, make our save system and reset our character in our um, in our custom character CP here, it'll it'll save the values that we set here, and then accurately reset the color in our you know our stuff that we're gonna set in here later. So just to do a little test here, I'm gonna print string. And I'm just going to do a test off of the B right here to make sure it's changing. So right now our color is set to black and we're on our button 2. So let's give that a test real quick. And skin color, button 2, it sets our skin to black. The value went to 0, which should be accurate for black. So let's just change the color real quick. and play and set and you see the value change to 128 so that way we know the uh the values are accurately changing and we're going to save those properly and you see that our skin color changed as well so now all we need to do is add this function to the end of all of our button clicks so just copy and paste this in and plug them in and we're gonna paste it in down here and plug it in like that and that is a much more simple solution for changing your preset colors um, and for the the kind of weird part about this now let's go ahead and just change the colors so on this one we'll make this one like a blue and on this one, we'll make this one like a reddish, a red color. And you can just very easily change the colors now. <clears throat> and uh, something else we're going to do is while we're doing this, we're going to reset the tints of these. So just shrink this down a little bit, make it smaller. And we're going to, while we're playing, uh, click on your button here and press play and we're going to go to new game click detailed appearance set skin color we're gonna click on this color and whatever color you change it to you can now just go into your tent here hit the eyedropper and set the tint of your button that way and now let's just uh, i guess we didn't have to close out there but let's go and do our next buttons and set that one uh, that one's kind of a yellowish color so it doesn't change too much but go into your tint here set that color like that and then we're gonna go click on your third button get your tint get the eyedropper set that color now you can just close compile Oh, that didn't save all the tints. Okay, I guess you do have to do it one at a time. So let's just do that one at a time. So go set your skin color to that. Uh, go to your second button here. 
set the tint, press OK, close out, compile, save, play again, get a new game, set your color to the third one, click on your third button here, go to the tint, get your eyedropper, and then set that color, and then close out, compile, and save. <clears throat> So yes, uh, this is a much more, a much better solution. So we're going to stick with this solution because it's definitely better. Uh, we can cut out all of those other material instances that we were doing. And you can now just very easily go in and just change your colors this way. And you can change the values and saturation of it here and stuff too. So, all right. So now, now that we have that set up and good to go. Uh, so in the next part, we still got some bug fixes to deal with. Um, so right now, when you click on any of those col colors, if you're set to have an aged character, uh, it'll still set your material to to the young, the young texture. So in the next one, we're gonna start doing some bug fixes to uh, to deal with that. But for now, uh, yeah, we're gonna call it here for this one. So, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know those down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.